Good evening, folks. Thanks for joining us tonight on MCTV's broadcast of the Midland High versus Dow High wrestling match. Uh, Going to be an exciting event tonight. Dow High starting 36 points in deficit to Midland High. Um, Going to be an action-packed event. Bitter crosstown rivalry. Yeah, it looks should be a very competitive match tonight. Uh, the Chemics last year losing at Dow and uh, this rivalry. Uh, Chemics are looking to uh, earn the uh, victory tonight here on their home uh, mat. And who are we starting off with? 125 pounds. Collecting a void for Midland High is... Yeah, for the Chemics, uh, Daniel Berg. Good evening, folks. Thanks for joining us tonight on MCTV's broadcast of Midland vs. Dow High Wrestling. Tonight we're going to start hot into the action at 140 pounds. Dow Highs, we got Evan Chianowski versus Lorenzo Cabrera coming from Midland High. Chianowski comes out quick, two-point takedown. Uh, folks, yeah, you didn't see, but earlier we Dow High gave up three voids. That's a total of 18 points. They are starting with an 18-point team score deficit this evening. Um, definitely going to be an action-packed adventure tonight. Uh, Midland versus Dow, bitter crosstown rivalry. Last year, Dow was able to take the crown home uh, on their own turf. This year, they're really going to have to pull something off, though. They're giving up six voids fresh out the gate. Three to start already and three more to come. Uh, Chianowski on top, getting his near fall. Got a loose headlock. Uh, working yep, working over trying, for that half. Earned six points for his team right here. There we go. Chianowski oh. with the near fall. Cabrera with two-point reversal. Good effort by both wrestlers to keep yeah. the action going. Well, that's one thing about Lorenzo. He does have very good hips. You'll notice as he's wrestling, he's really quick, turns in, um, creates a good angle most of the time, pretty strong with his hips. So definitely uh, keeping, we'll see what he can work with here. Definitely keeping good forward pressure. like seeing that from a wrestler. Um, like I said, last year, Dow was able to take the crown home. Midland here on the home turf, really eager to get that victory for tonight. Um, and tonight's the night to do it, most definitely. Midland last year gave up a lot of seniors. Um, so this year they, they've got some more experienced guys. They've, they've had some time to work with them. When Dow is just, they're fighting out of a hole. So we're going to see if Dow is able to turn it on if, if Midland's able to just shut them out here on their home turf. It's definitely going to be an interesting one. Yep, yeah, and I was caught talking earlier to Coach Dennis from Dow. He was explaining quite a few guys that had injuries just recently. Absolutely. So they didn't expect to be this shorthanded, and they'll get a couple guys back here in the next couple of days and hopefully return to full strength. Awesome, awesome. Definitely one of the, uh, the sad realities of a combat sport is all the injuries that come, that come with it. Uh, starting off the second period, Chianowski chose neutral. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the sport, at the start of every period besides the first, each wrestler takes a turn choosing the position in which they'd like to start. Cabrera with a nice takedown. Nice two points for Midland there. Yeah, and he'll be looking to control wrist and uh, try to keep pressure forward keep his opponent down so he can work a move, try to get him turned for uh, near fall. Working to the edge of the mat now. Trying to keep two points in the rule. Oh, there it is. And uh, the score currently is five to four. Five to four, Midland up. That's correct. All right. Or no, five to four. Um, Dow high. And now it's six to four, it looks like he's Going to go ahead and uh, go back to neutral. All right. Anytime when there's a break in the action and a wrestler is going to be taking the top position, that wrestler can show to the ref, hey, I want to go neutral and award the down wrestler one point for an escape. And what that does is, yes, it's giving the opponent one point, but it's also not cutting any time off the clock. If you're confident on your feet, a lot of times a wrestler will choose to give up a point so they can score two for a takedown. And that's yeah. exactly what we saw there. Another beautiful takedown by Cabrera. And typically you'll see that if the wrestler's confident in, his, uh, in being in neutral, being on his feet. Yep. And I know that uh, Coach Donovan stresses that quite a bit. Wants to get, uh, his wrestlers to be very good in neutral. Absolutely. There's a long time creed in the sport of wrestling where if you can take an opponent down, you can win the match, no matter how good the wrestler. And, uh, okay, it looks like with about 30 seconds to go, we've got uh, potentially, a, I'm gonna guess, a blood time out. All right, got a little blood time. Take this time to uh, talk about the coaching staff real quick. Coach Dennis Doyle with Dow High, it's third year with the program. Um, his son graduated last year, a phenomenal athlete, phenomenal student. Um, and, and for Coach Dennis to 
uh, continue on with this program after his son has graduated and really pull on just a, a, a star-studded assistant coaching staff is really, really good on him. You know, three years for a program, not very long to, to make your mark, but he's definitely well on his way to establish himself as a, as a very experienced coach. Yeah, and he, he, you mentioned his assistants. They are they're quite talented. You see Nick Wardell right now uh, speaking to uh, Evan. And um, I have some experience with him. He's an exceptional coach. Yep. Uh, was head coach for a time out at uh, Bullet Creek. Yep. Definitely as a, a bit of a legend in the mid-Michigan wrestling community, Coach Wardell, coach Wardell has definitely uh, helped a lot of kids to success, uh, all starting in that wrestling room. Both these coaches, assistant and head coach, demand perfection uh, when it comes to the books and when it comes to the mat. So uh, they, once they get it together, they can really, really start making a difference with this program. How about the uh, Midland High coach? Well, I'll come back to that in a moment. All He's, right. uh, looks like we're getting ready to get started again. All right. We got Dow going down. Forward pressure right off the rip from Cabrera. That's exactly what we need. Chianowski working that hand control, trying to base up, but it is suffocating when you have a guy who's just a hammer on top, putting all that weight into you. Sometimes it feels like six minutes oh, can last an hour. Nice hip ice. Chianowski out underneath, caught in a sprawl. Short time to go. Looking to see if he can do and something with that like single. Manage to, uh, not give up the point. So we're going into the third period, six to six. Midland highs. Lorenzo is starting down. Let's see if Chianowski can keep him down. Definitely an awesome match we got going. Chianowski coming hot out of the gate. Able to suck his guy back. But there's Cabrera with those awesome hips. Able to base back down. Reset position. Up to his feet. Easy one point for Cabrera. Looks like we've got a little bit more blood time. Yeah, you asked about Coach Donovan. Uh, this is his sixth season with uh, Midland Chemics. And um, he was uh, awarded the uh, conference's coach of the year two years in a row. Awesome. Awesome. And I uh, heard he had a little. Oh, nice double leg. Very nice nice. double leg to Chianowski. Secured a two point takedown, bringing the score at 8 to 7. Dow High in the lead. No question, just watching this match, that Chianowski is one strong individual. But Cabrera's got great movement, great hips, seems to have a really awesome mad IQ. Definitely a recipe for an electric match. Yeah, he's uh, having a tough time right now getting separation. There he is to his feet. Yeah. Uh, return to the mat. Oh, movement. Nice arm spin. Cabrera, two point reversal, very nice. Two points. So it's 9-8 Midland. It's going to come right down to the wire. 50 seconds left in the match. Evan's got to move if he wants to make anything happen for his team. Here you can expect to watch Cabrera just keep that pressure on, keep his opponent's face in the mat. Evan's really got to work for that hip separation, get up, get out, and at least tie the score up. It is crucial that Dow High takes victories from every single match um, in order to make up that six yeah, match deficit. Yeah, being down 18 points, yes. 36 points. Uh, yeah, total. total. The, yeah. 18 points to start, but Midland High is going to get a free 18 points as the match goes on. Well, probably at this point, they're trying to make the most of it. You know, I, I, it's got to be tough as a coach. You know, your expectations change coming into the match with some injuries happening just a couple of days prior. Exactly. And to set you back, but uh, you're, they're still going to compete. Exactly. All right, Lorenzo taking home the dub for Midland High. Wins by a point. Was able to keep that pressure on and keep Chianowski down. Well done, Midland High. And just so you know, you are watching this Midland High versus HH Dow High wrestling meet on the MCTV network. MCTV can be found on Charter Spectrum channels 188 through 191 in Midland. You can also find MCTV under channel 99 on AT&T's UVerse. Check the Midland Public Schools website at www.midlandps.org or the Sunday edition of the Midland Daily News for more playback times. View this program online at the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel. All right, moving up to 145 pounds. 
Coming out for Dow High, we have Dawson Studebaker holding a record of one and five. And uh, from, for the Chemex, we have Stephen Hackbar. Uh, Stephen's a freshman and um, got his first victory just last week. Awesome. Well, hey, for uh, a wrestler who's got his first victory, I can tell you right now, he's already got awesome motion. He's changing those hips, keeping the hands out in front. Looks like, uh, looks like the coach staff did him some pretty good, uh, pretty good work out, out, out in their practice room. Got a single leg going on for uh, Mr. Studebaker. Comes up to the Iranian. Great contact. We're neutral, really no pressure. points. Studebaker has a couple years in the youth program. Uh, okay. And I believe this, he is a sophomore. This will be his second year wrestling for the Dow program. First year uh, hitting the mats as a varsity wrestler. Still no points awarded uh, to either opponent on the mat. Nice oh, hip toss, nice pancake nice for Dow High's wrestler, Studebaker. Two point takedown, got his near fall. He's in pretty good position. Try Looking to keep him on the mat. Stick. It, it is very important that Dow High gets these pins. You notice Dow High wrestler still has two points in on the mat. And he can, just like that, pin his opponent with his back outside the circle. Well done for Mr. Studebaker. Six points for Dow High there. So bringing us to 21 to six. 21 to six. And moving on to the 152 weight class. All right, coming out 152 pounds for H.H. Dow High is Colin Deal. Uh, had the pleasure of working with him two years ago as he was a freshman for Dow. Now he's hitting the mat as a varsity. Definitely seems to grown up a little bit and uh, hopefully he can really make something happen for Dow tonight. Coming here with a record of five and seven. All right, and for the Chemex, we have Daniel Revord. He's a junior. He's been having a pretty solid season so far. A couple juniors going at it. One three-year wrestler and the gentleman from Midland High. Uh, Daniel Rivard, he's been wrestling for quite a while. He, I want to say he started when he was around six years old, seven years old. Oh, high and, uh, crotch. So he in, was in a youth program for quite some time. Awesome. You can definitely see it, too. An experienced wrestler can recognize another experienced wrestler just from their movement on the mat. But I'll tell you right now, Colin holding in there really well with an experienced wrestler. Still no points. Good motion, good movement. Nice cut in, nice sprawl from Dow High's wrestler. Working to pass that elbow and get two points. Midland High, way to get repositioned. Back up on your feet, fresh start. Daniel Rivard, very physical hands, very physical. A lot of times you see uh, the more physical wrestler shutting down their opponent. But I got to give it to Colin. Even though he's getting hit with those heavy hands. Oh, looks like we might have had an injury. Maybe Daniel twisted his ankle. Yeah, he came into the match uh, last week. He had twisted it in a wrestling match. And I'm going to assume that uh, is the same ankle. All right, maybe tweaked his ankle. Hopefully he'll be okay. We'll get back in that action. And you can catch all the high school sports action on MCTV this winter. MCTV volunteers and staff will broadcast the Midland vs. Dow basketball game and hockey game. Visit www.cityofmidland.gov forward slash MCTV and midlandps.org for more information. In case you missed them, catch replays of wrestling, hockey, basketball, and many other events on the MPS TV channel 190. Or check out the Midland Public Schools YouTube channel to watch all these games in beautiful high definition. All right, looks like... Midland High's wrestler just tweaked his ankle, had to shake it off. We're back in the action. That's good news. As I was saying, Daniel's got heavy hands. Man, he's a he's physical good. wrestler, yes. and that is definitely an awesome thing to see. Um, Colin, too, as I was saying, it's really easy to shut down the more inexperienced wrestler just with some aggressive hands. But Colin's staying in there, and he's actually pushing forward. He's, he's trying to run his offense, and that is a great thing. That is a testament to the coaching staff at Dow. Um, going out there and keeping your head up in adversity, amazing. Yeah, we're approaching the end of the first period. Uh, no score. Excellent wrestling from both gentlemen. 
Very aggressive, both trying to run their offense. They're not just standing there on their feet trading hands. They're actually working angles and trying to make something happen. So it looks like Revord is going to choose top. All right. With a score of 0-0, Midland High's Daniel Rivard chooses top. Seems to be pretty confident in this top game. Keeping that forward pressure. He's able to sneak a, sneak a chicken wing in there. Let's see if he can make anything happen. Looking to get a turn here. Chicken wing half. Chicken wing half. You'll notice that Midland High's wrestler Daniel, he keeps coming off those hips, and that's exactly what the top wrestler needs to be doing. Where Colin Deal, he's kind of sitting there and he's letting the guy run his offense. Granted, he is defending against these turns. Colin has to do more or he can start getting hit with passivity calls uh, or stalling calls and start awarding the Midland High wrestler free points. Big step over the head, got the turn, collecting the near fall. Nice job, Mr. Reward. You're going to well, watch So Daniel once he gets his uh, count here, his five count, he'll probably try to reposition to see if he can uh, get a pin out of it. And he's either going to pop up and get his points or he's going to chop that hip just like yes. that and try to pin both shoulders down. Colin fighting hard off of that Stepped back. Stepped over into reverse half. Colin's got a long ways to go here, 40, minute, or 40 seconds to go. It'll be tough for him to fight. Fighting 40 seconds off your back can feel like an eternity, that's for sure. Steps over. Yeah, he's looking to seal the deal right now. Colin fighting hard off his back. He's doing a great job. He hasn't given up the, the pin yet. Oh, he's working it. Trying to get the arm free. So close. 10 seconds left. Let's see if Colin can keep fighting him off. One second, seconds to go. three seconds left. And Daniel was able to seal the stick against Colin Deal of Dow High. Yeah, Daniel's father is assistant coach uh, for the Chemics. And um, he's been with the program for quite a while. Uh, Jason Revord. And uh, he also coached the uh, Midland Thunder for, uh, I, I believe, at least six uh Years, six to seven years. Awesome. I uh, coach um, uh, all of my sons, does a real nice job. So uh, Daniel's got his dad in his house, uh, been able to work with him at times. And that's the big help, big help for any wrestler. Uh, coming out 160 for Dow, Dane DeLong, record 10 and 8. I have the pleasure of working with him a few times myself. And boy, I tell you what, he grew up a lot these last couple of years. Let's he see has. If he can, uh, let's see if he can make something happen. Uh, and he's going up against John Hine. Dane, senior leader, really looking to take that crown, keep that crown at Dow High, I should say. Two so points uh, for Mr. Hine. Midland High's up 2-0, minute and a half left in the first period. So John will continue to work forward pressure. Uh, a lot of times he'll like to work the legs. So we we'll, might get an opportunity here to see legs go in. Definitely got the body length for it, that's for sure. He's working a hammer lock right now. John trying to pull that wrist out and through. Dane able to base back up, but see if he can make something happen, get up to his feet. A lot of times you'll see the guy on bottom, he's the one that's getting hit with the stalling calls. It's a lot easier for a guy on top to step off the hips and avoid those passivity calls with a guy on bottom, he's getting gas and he's got to work what almost seems twice as hard, sometimes just to even base up. And you can see Dane is uh, Dane is definitely feeling that top man's pressure. Yeah, the forward pressure is what f forces that bottom guy to, to be, well, ultimately be broken down on his stump is what the top guy is looking for. But um, basing up is, is and getting to a stand-up position is, is very difficult. Very crucial. Um, and you'll notice, too, one of the keys at, at keeping a guy down on his base, one, we say it again, we're going to say it all day, is forward pressure. 
you were going to watch John just put the hammer down on Dane, try to put his face right in the mat, and then get the chance. Watch what he does with his back knee. He's going to put that right in between his legs, and that's going to help prevent Dane from basing up. He's got that hammer lock across the back, seeing if he can get a turn with it. Here's that knee in between Looks the like legs. Dane will, yep, he'll, uh, he did a good job of fighting, staying, uh, staying uh, back up to his base, not getting broken down with that final 15 seconds. Starting the second period. Midland High's rest of John Hine is going down. Dane getting a chance to run his offense on top. Let's see if he can keep his opponent down, maybe get some turns. Looks like Dane's got double arm bars, at least one arm bar. Two on one, sucking it under, keeping that yep. forward pressure. Staying on the hips real nice. And he's got a cross wrist there, he had one. Uh, John worked it out, but uh, I can see that Nick has been coaching Dane. He's probably been working with Aiden. They like to right, run that cross wrist, a lot of moves off oh, yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. And I see Dane went right for it. Very good forward pressure. Very good forward pressure. One thing I'll say about John, though, uh, the, the Midland High wrestler, is that he is pretty good at ripping those hands off of his wrist and getting that good hand control. Dane again, still trying to run that cross wrist. Keeping that pressure on. So with about a minute to go, I'd expect John to start trying to separate. And is. here comes the Peterson, trying to work Peterson. So there's no score at this point, unless he can get his head out. There's, there's two for reverse, he got the hips. You notice John there, he pinched the elbow and started to roll. If you were to hook the leg, he'd be, he would get two for reversal and be working at Peterson trying to get some near fall. Um, wasn't able to hook the leg, but still was able to turn out and secure that two-point reversal for his team. Score now 4-0, Midland High is in the lead. So John will be looking just to ride out here with about 10 seconds to go. All right, I believe it's Dane's choice, yeah. Expect to see him go down. Oh, he's talking with his coach. Oh, we're neutral. going neutral. Down by four points. Dane's going to look for a takedown and try to get his opponent right to his back. Nice shot. Stuffed. Good down block by Dane. On a sweep single. Dane on that leg. You can't sit there. As soon as you get that wrestler's weight on you, the battle becomes twice as hard. Go to a switch off double. Let's see if he tries to posture up, hit that Iranian. Back to the swing, back to the single. And Mr. Hine pulling like on that ankle. Stalemate. Works yeah. the stalemate. Back to neutral. If you are down and you go into the third period and you choose neutral just like Dane did, you have got to turn it on. Dane, he's kind of, he's looking a little bit too relaxed in the center. The time winding down, just over a minute left in the third. This is the moment where the wrestler who's down has got to turn it on if he has to have anything the pressure. To yep, he has to take it to his opponent. Try to get him backing up. Nice double leg blast, double for Mr. Hine. Two point takedown. 50 seconds left in the match. All right, he's going to work for the major, it looks like. Pushes him up. One point escape for Dow. Shoots in another double. He dragged the toes. He's going to call he's him out. out. He had only one point of contact in the mat. No takedown. 41 seconds left. Score is 6 1. So Coach Donovan's looking for John to be aggressive and work on his feet. He likes his wrestlers to be very solid and neutral and be aggressive. So that's the reason for releasing them. Continue to get that work for being stronger, you know, at, at neutral, being more comfortable. Um, typically by the end of the season, most of his wrestlers are pretty comfortable um, working their neutral offense. That is just an amazing goal to go for, absolutely. 
Dane, nice single. Stepped over the ankle. See if he can get his head out. Maybe get two points before the buzzer. Yeah, no the wizard is a preventer. Yeah. Right. John had that heavy wizard pulling down on that arm, preventing Dane from working any, pro any progress. Dow High takes another victory home, bringing the score 30 to 6. I'm sorry, Midland High taking another victory. All right, we're going to move on to 171. And Lincoln Kalinske will be coming out for the Chemex. All right, and coming out at 171 is Aiden Wardell. That is the assistant coach, Nick Wardell's son. He is 23-3, and three, also uh, plays football for Dow High. Aiden, unfortunately, last year his uh, season was cut short due to injury. Nice blast double. Two takedown for Dow. Cut short, but at the re he was a regional qualifier. He was a regional qualifier. He almost made it to the show. Aiden, no stranger to hard work and success on the mat, especially coming out of the, ho the Wardell household. <laughs> Pressure's on. <laughs> Score 2 0 out of bounds. Going to go back, restart. Dow High on top. Well, Lincoln is a, is a freshman wrestler. He wrestled his uh, eighth grade year um, at the middle school program. So there's a lot of inexperience. His opponent, getting his near fall here. Aiden working those points for his team. Another turn for Aiden, got him in a nice cradle. And stuck his opponent. That'll bring the score 12 to 30. Midland High Chemics are still in the lead. Yeah, Lincoln really had his hands full. Aiden Wardell is a fantastic wrestler. Uh, he doesn't have anything to be ashamed of. Um, you know, it's a lot of courage to go out and wrestle somebody who's got a, a tremendous amount of uh, ability and experience. Absolutely. And Aiden, as we said, his season was cut short. Uh, I believe he's a sophomore this year. So to make it as a regional qualifier in Division One school, uh, as a freshman, uh, that's no small feat. So hopefully we get to see a whole lot more of that this year. All right, we have the 189-pound class. Uh, for the Chemics, we have Trey Tunstall. And coming out for Dow is Xavier St. John, record of six and seven this year. Uh, had the pleasure of working with him two years ago when I uh, assisted for Dow. He's a third-year wrestler. Nice, powerful. Well, it was oh, a double leg, yeah, but no It was a double leg, but no score, yep. yep. Well, Trey Tunstall, this is his first season of wrestling. Yeah, he's a junior, a uh, fantastic athlete, very raw. You'll see some of the moves not quite uh, as accomplished yep. as some of the other wrestlers, but you will see the athletic ability. Uh, he's got a great heart, hard worker. Nice hip heist back out front. Score right now with that reversal makes it two to four. Midland High is in the lead. Uh, Trey, some powerful action right off the start. Was able to secure two points and two near fall for his team. Xavier, the experienced wrestler, he's gonna look to see if he can outlast this opponent and, uh, and work some technique. Be able to hang on, get back to the hips. Trey was able to catch that leg. Oh, caught in the headlock. See Xavier if he can looking close for it that head pulls head out. Secures the headlock. Oh, Trey, just powerful. Just powerful roll roll through. Through. Oh, back to the headlock. Back through. Stop He's motion. He's got to get his Xavier. head back. And he does. He stops motions, collecting his near fall. Gets the stick to Dow High. What an action packed first period that was. That was exciting. Trey, after seeing what I just saw, and that's his first year. He could definitely make a career out of this sport, let's just say. Absolutely. He sticks with it. Uh, I think great things for him, not only for the rest of this year, I think he could surprise a few people as the season winds down, but definitely for next season. Yep. I, I, I think he's could, could go pretty far. His coaching staff obviously did wonderful things for him here in his first year. I mean, that was, that was pretty cool. Coming out, 215 pounds, Aiden Belligiorno for Dow High. Coming out with a record 17-4. and four. And for the Chemics, Wilson Shinsky. Uh, he's a freshman uh, for, for the Chemics. Stuff the shot. Two points for Aiden Belligiorno. Powerful cross face looking to secure that cradle. And 
Aiden is just heavy with those hands today. Really wants to get that six for his team. Nice deep half. One point red. Looks like an illegal move call. Not exactly sure what happened there. You can hear Coach Wardell. He's telling Aiden Belgioner to slow down. Sometimes you go out to those matches a little too excited, and if you move too fast, if you're not thinking too technically, you open up mistakes that your opponent can capitalize on. Yes, yeah, so he's slowing down, and he's going to work his uh, wing. Loose Very wing, good stack. Turn his opponent. So that's going to tighten it up. So I think we're at 30 to 24 Chemex. We're going to move on to the 285 pound weight class. Around 285, Dow High. This is one of the weight classes that they will void, giving up six points to their opponent, Midland High. And Dominic Melodia will be coming out for uh, Midland at 285 pounds. Moving on to the 103 weight class. We have uh, Connor Shelb for the Chemex. Dow High will be voiding his weight class. That'll bring it up, bring us up to 112. Dow High is going to send out Brennan Finney, record 10 and 7 for the Chargers. And for the Chemex, it'll be Brennan Anderson. One hundred three. Dow voided out. Connor Shelb came out for Midland High, and if I understand correctly, Connor Shelb is the son of one of the assistant coaches. He is. Uh, Chris Shelb is his father, an assistant coach, and um, Connor also has a brother that's on the team that we'll see later on. Uh, Cole Shelb. A lot of heavy hands out there to start. Anderson just able to power his opponent down. Working for that bundle, elevates the. Elevates the ankle with his own leg. Still looking for that turn. Nice base up from Finney. Man, Anderson is heavy with that forward pressure. Very heavy. He's running that cross wrist, trying to stack him. Half on yeah, bar. his half. It looks like he may get a turn here. Turned it over. Half armbar, that's one of the first turns any wrestler is going to learn. And what you're going to see is from the start of the career all the way through a collegiate career, a wrestler will continue to run that. Stays with him forever. That's a very effective move. If you watch college and even the senior level world wrestling, they're running basics. And coaches nowadays have come to know that, hey, sometimes it's not about the fancy moves. It is about the basics that will bring in the victory. And we just saw it there. And coming out for the Chemex is Alex Noe. And coming out for Dow Chargers, we've got Robbie Batha. Batha, second year wrestler, coming out with a record of four and 10. Had the awesome opportunity of working with his little brother who's an experienced wrestler. Uh, great to have on, on my team. Wonder how it feels having a little brother who's a more experienced in a combat sport. <laughs> I wonder if he's able to uh, learn a couple things from his little brother or if he doesn't want to hear it. Probably he doesn't want to hear it. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> nice, beautiful double leg, controlled landing. Two points mid and high, pulling his opponent back in. Way to swim for that ankle, Robbie. And wrestling nowadays has evolved a lot to scrambling and grabbing people's ankles. Um, a lot of times you'll see wrestlers who are going to lose position, grab an ankle, and then all of a sudden, the entire match does a 180, where you thought you were going to get scored on, now you're uh, uh, stacking points. Yeah, so many of the coaches now uh, practice that technique on a weekly basis, some of them even daily. Absolutely. It's part of the regular routine, not giving up points. 
Nice cradle, locked it up, second, second and back. No near fall. Two of the most important things for a bottom wrestler to do at all times is constant motion and hand control. You can have one, but without the other, you're not gonna go anywhere. You need to get hand control, shut down the top man's offense, and if you keep, keep trying to create space, keep moving, at the same time you're running your offense, you're trying to score points there. Yeah, you can actually put the top guy on the defensive. Absolutely. So short time to go here in the first period. Alex going back to the cradle. Trying to lock up that cross face cradle. Up to his feet, short time, no score. 2-0, Midland High is in the lead. Midland High defers his choice, Dow High's choice for the start of the, start of the second period. We are going neutral. Lots of good motion for Midland High. Over under, right to his back. Two point takedown, collecting the near fall. Let's see if we can pin both those shoulders down. Working, stepping over. There he is, he's throwing those laces in over the thighs. Elevate the head, chest down. Robbie, that nice is a fantastic face. move, a lot of heart. The ability to continue to fight off your back is such an underrated skill in wrestling. A lot of kids, when they get put there, especially a situation like that, they just quit. But in order to keep fighting, man, that, that, that's a testament right there. Yes, it is. Working for that cradle again. I'll be able to break the grip. One point escape for Dow High. Bringing the score 7-1. to one. And there's a, a takedown. So Alex is going to try to run a hammer. Jump. Yep, pull the wrist over the back, the getting a hammer lock. Going to swim out front. That is a hard move to get out of once you get to that position. He's able to turn his opponent. Got his near fall count. He's looking for the finish. 20 seconds left in the second period. So Alex will be looking to try to get more chest to chest with him. The fact Sitting he's not teed off is going to give uh, Robert an opportunity to, with about eight seconds to go, he may be able to avoid the pin. It looks like he's going to. Now Berg is, Berg is an aggressive wrestler, always looking to build those points. I'm sorry. Alex, Alex yeah, this is Alex, yes. He's going to continue to. I apologize. Add on, yep. Alex is is very aggressive wrestler, very aggressive, trying to stack those points. But for Robbie to keep going out there, getting put on his back and able to fight off of it, that, that's that's saying a lot for Robbie. Shows a lot of a desire. Yep. So it looks like Alex will look to tech at this point. Score of 14 to 2, two more points. One more takedown and that'll, oh, deep shot by Robbie. Double leg, head inside. Heavy, heavy hips from Alex. Able to down block, two. spin, get the two. Bring the score, 16 to two. One more point for Alex, and that'll give him a 15 point lead. And that will secure the victory, technical fall. So lock Alex had cradle. another hammer, hammer lock and, and let it go, so looks like he's gonna move to the cradle. There you go, right to his feet, explode to that feet. As soon as he felt the top guy leave, leave the pressure, Robbie right up to his feet, awesome. So Coach Donovan looking to cut him. And at this point, a takedown for Alex would end the match in a technical fall. Double leg head inside of that Iranian. Gonna look to pull that ankle down. There you go, 
Uh, Robbie looking for a stalemate in the last 30 seconds of the match, looking to stop all motion. And he may get it. He's got his head pinned. Yep, there's stalemate. Looked like Coach Wardell really wanted uh, some sort of turn there, whether that was a splatal, kind of hard to tell. Another nice deep shot for Alex, able to get two right to his opponent's back. Now he may look to pin here. Now if you do score 15 points, but you have your opponent on his back, the ref will give you the opportunity to finish the match with a pin, giving your team one additional point as compared to a 15 point victory by Tech Fall. Time runs out, Tech Fall victory for Midland High. That secures five more points for their total team score. The coverage of this wrestling media is being produced by MCTV volunteers and staff. If you'd like to work on the shows like this one, sign up for a media producer workshop. You will learn how to be a video producer, create a studio program, use professional video cameras, and edit your video using Final Cut Pro editing software. The cost is just $45, which includes the annual access user fee. The next workshops are on February 5th, 6th, and 8th. You can learn more about MCTV at City of Midland mi.gov forward slash mctv or follow us on facebook call 837-3474 to get started so the final score is chemix 53 chargers 24 all right you know i gotta believe that the outcome uh, uh later on in the season they will most likely meet in the districts absolutely and um chargers will be back to full health and I'm uh, very excited to see that match up later on this year. Absolutely. When Dow comes back to full health, they're definitely going to be looking, ba looking to get this one back. Uh, if you want to see all the new ways you can share your story through MCTV, now you can create a TV show, put your videos on YouTube, promote your programs on social media, and even create an audio podcast to reach a whole new audience. To learn more, call MCTV at 837-3474 today. You can find our YouTube channel and podcast by searching for MCTV Network's Community Voices. Well, folks, thanks for joining us tonight on tonight's broadcast of Midland versus Dow High. Um, Dow High having to come out with a huge deficit. They were looking to pull it off two years in a row, but they could not fight uh, that, that huge deficit they started off with, and Midland came out ready to play. Heavy hands, good forward pressure, just an all-around good show by Midland High. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to uh, win with that number of voids, but I, the Dow team, the guys that wrestled, they, 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 very, they really competed. And um, you got to, you know, take your hats off. The Chemex, they came out and wrestled very hard also. And, um, you know, when both teams are at full strength, that's when I think it's uh, going to be very interesting here in the next three weeks. Absolutely. Congratulations to the Chemex. Thanks again, folks, for joining us tonight. Thank you.